people know that I'm around. Good morning, Andrew. Good morning, Star. Good morning, Kicks for You. This is Sandy Alice, Queen of the Ninja Kitten, saying, Good morning. I am very happy to see you today. Do it with me. I am very happy to see you today. Thank you for being my friend today. Uh, it's my good morning greeting. All right. Good morning, Ninja Kittens. Good morning. Hello, Kitty Warriors, Warriors for Love, Warriors for Light. The Ninja Kittens, they make everything bright. Ah! Yay! Or as Alexa would go, it's time to get up. It's time to get up. It's time to get up in the morning. Good morning, everyone. I slept well on, on that bed over there that I hated. I didn't like sleeping on that bed because, you know, I don't like sleeping on beds. That's okay. I, I, I made my refrigerator work by turning it on. Slap me, girl. I dried up my pajamas, but now I don't need them because I fell asleep in my clothes last night. It's what I did. Good morning. It's 4 a.m. for you. You must be on the East Coast. I mean, West Coast. You must be in California. Okay, good morning. Kicks for you. I feel beautiful today. This is the other thing I could have worn yesterday. I went full throttle Hello Kitty. I'm still going Hello Kitty, but I'm not going full throttle Hello Kitty. I'm wearing my purple dress today. Because I feel like a purple princess again. I brought with me my uh, ColourPop makeup. That's purple and beautiful. I brought with me some unicorn snot and all the other essentials. I have in my Mary Kay container. I'm going to bring it over in just a moment because we're doing Makeup with Sandy this morning. And you're right here with me. Huh? Maybe I should elevate you a little bit so you'd be a little higher in my corner. Let me see what I can do with it. Can we do this? Sometimes I like to make things. I put this underneath here. See if we can lift you up. is lifting me higher than I've ever... Because I don't have to bend down for this. Ever been before... Your love is lifting me higher than I've ever been before. We're working on it. This looks silly, by the way. I got these little things stacked up there. Good morning, my friends. Good morning, my ninja kittens, my Hello Kitty warriors. Uh, I have a problem. Uh, my problem is with TikTok, but that's not unusual, folks. Um, my blueberry yum yum went through the roof. And then around two days ago, or a day and a half ago, all of a sudden, my videos went from 3,000, 2,000 views each to 300, which is what I'm getting over here, which makes no sense at all. Because I've got 84,000, 83,000 followers on TikTok on my main account. To have less than 1,000 views of anything doesn't make sense to me. So it means, yeah, they put me in the shadow bank category. I'm, I'm, I'm in the timeout over there. They're restricting my FYP. So I'm going to shout out on Snapchat and on Instagram and right here. Hey, everybody, go watch my videos. Knock them through the roof. Knock their socks off. Rock their world. Tell your friends. Go watch a couple videos today. It's Self-Care Sunday. Sandy loves self-care. I take very good care of myself. I really do. Today, we're not going to put any foundation on. Not the color pop. We're going to only put on the bronzer that Amanda gave me. Because you know what? That's made out of chocolate. And chocolate is a beauty secret. And the secret is the cocoa in the, in the chocolate bronzer is really good for your face. And at the end of the day, you'll glow like a goddess. Mm -hmm. So then you can call me queen. <laughs> but anyways, that's her trick. And she looks gorgeous. She sent me her picture, and then she put a little black thing on her nose and gave herself whiskers. The question is, should I do that today? Should I give myself a nose and whiskers today? Or should I just go plain beautiful Sandy? <laughs> Probably just plain beautiful Sandy. But we'll talk about that in a minute. It was good morning, everyone. It's Self-Care Sunday. And it's time to take very good care of ourselves. So this morning, we'll do yoga after we put our makeup on. And then we'll drive to Dayton 
and see if we can find ninja kittens and Hello Kitty warriors that are ready to let love roar and draw more pictures on my shirts. Because you know I love to do that. I love to find people that just love love and hate hate and stand as the ninja kitten in the world and are proud of being a member of the ninja kitten family. And I found a hundred of them yesterday. Over between Polaris Mall and Easton Mall, I found at least a hundred people that are so proud to be ninja kittens. Some of them wouldn't draw because they didn't think they could. But now they know they're ninja kittens and they will let love roar. Yay! <laughs> More my pronouns. Well, my pronouns are her and me and she. Those are my pronouns. Because mm -hmm. I am a trans woman, been transforming myself for around 11 years. Discovered when I was around 51 or so that the core, the center, the bottom of my soul had always been female. And I'm fighting to be the best woman I can be. I am Dandelion Girl 1957 on TikTok, which is my main account. And I have 2 million likes and 83,000 followers around the world. And I love them all and I miss them so much. But I made this account here. Uh, Dandelion Girl 10, 20, 6, 17, because I got banned. And this is my alternate account. Well, I was born in 1957, so you have to do the math there, my dear. But I'll tell you what, I claim my true name, Sandy Ellis, on October 26, 2017, which means I am three years old, and I am 63. <laughs> but see, I know that already, dear. I grew up with that. I grew up in the roots of that. I grew up in the Jesus People Movement. I, I spent many, many years of my life pre-reading pre and studying and memorizing books of the Bible. So, yeah, I know that all. But I also am a lovist, and I love everyone that loves love. So if you love someone else or something else or just no one and still let love rule your heart, I love you too. <laughs> I'm what you call a lovist. I love everyone. I don't care if you're a druid, a rabbi, a priest, a druid, a white witch, I don't care. As long as love is the reason why you're alive. I don't care if you're an atheist. I don't. As long as love is flowing through your heart and your highest principle in life is to spread love through this world, I love you. And so does my higher power. <laughs> that's, that's my belief system. End of that. Um, so anyways, you, you, yeah, I know that, dear. I know that already. So anyways, I'm a lovist and I love everyone that loves love. And I've touched people's hearts of all different religions and all different races and all different gender identities and orientations. And they are flowing with love. So align yourself with love today because it's the only way to live. It's the best way to live. Don't live any other way. Don't be a hater or a debater. Don't be a pusher or a shover. Be a lover. <laughs> uh, and I will, dear, because this is the life I live. I live to touch hearts with love. That's what I do every, every day. I wake up with one thought in my mind, one hope in my heart, one prayer that I lift up to my higher power every day is I want to touch more hearts with love today. I want to share this fire, share this light, share this love with everyone I touch. That's my simple desire. That's just what, I, that's what it's all about. What is Sandy's Health Beyond? I'm on YouTube. Sandy's Healthy Inspirations. Why is it there? Because I want to spread love and touch hearts. It doesn't matter whether it's yoga or hula hooping or makeup or, or making hula hoops. It doesn't matter. If it's decluttering, it doesn't matter. All of it is designed to spread love. So let me get my makeup so I stop talking yak, 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 and just get my makeup on. <laughs> See, a long time ago, my sister-in-law gave me a lot of makeup, Mary Kay makeup, because she's a Mary Kay person. So she gave me this bag. That's a Mary Kay bag. Okay? And in it, there is my makeup that I used yesterday. And we're going to explore what I have here. Okay. So I brought my toothpaste. So we've got to brush our teeth. And I also brought a toothbrush. Ah! Just saying that I did. So I'm going to take care of that. I brought with me the ever-important and always crucial, at least for me, unicorn snot. Mm -hmm. brought that with me. I brought the Anastasia blush with me because I love Anastasia blush. I brought with me this Ultra Beauty Gold that I love to put on my lips easily. 
I brought some N some NYX glitter, NYX NYX glitter I brought with me because I love being a glitter pop girl. I brought two lipsticks. Uh, this is Licorice and Chai. Uh, these were gifts from my friend um, in Ontario. Those are from Amanda Stokes. This is Lashtopia, my birthday present from Bare Minerals. Thank you. Uh, this is my favorite brush for putting on eyeshadow. This It's the Fenty brush. One of the ones that I... I um, I paid full price for it. I didn't didn't buy an eyelash because this has helped me so much when I put on my eyeshadow. This is a gift from Vicky, um, uh, Jackie. I'm sorry. This is a gift from Jackie, and it is a brush that she got for me, my little sister, and herself. It's a it's a little unicorn brush for putting on makeup, and I love it just because it is that. And then um, someone from Virginia sent me a Hello Kitty makeup brushes, and that's what this one is here. Oh. And this is Chanel. It's a sample, but it, it, this is actually mascara. It works really good, too. All right. This is my favorite under eyeliner. Okay. This is my big white crayon from NYX. I got it at Ultra Beauty. I got lots of friends over there. Anastasia eyebrow pomade. Don't go home without it. I love this eyebrow pomade. It's just amazing. And my NYX eyeliner. Oh, I love that stuff. It's so good. Oh, my favorites, my favorites. Oh, and this is what Amanda gave me. I'm not going to use foundation. I'm using this instead. This is chocolate bronzer. I'm going to bronze my whole face. She recommended that I just cover my whole face and underneath my chin with this because this will put chocolate on my face all day long. At the end of the day, I'll be glowing like a goddess. Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. My pronouns are her, me, and she because I was born in the hypnodom side of the family. I had no contact with the LGBT community, had no idea what the word trans meant. I didn't know that I was a girl and I created my own pronouns. They were her, me, and she, because I like to rhyme. <laughs> My pronouns are her, me, and she. <laughs> this is the ColourPop uh, makeup I put on yesterday. I'm not putting that foundation on today. I'm just putting on the bronzer. And this is my Animal Crossing ColourPop purple eyeshadow I on today. It's glorious. It's one. It matches my hair perfectly. It matches my top perfectly. It just does. Now, this I'm putting on today. But this, when I was in Ultra Beauty the other day, my friends were with me live on TikTok and they said, Sandy, go get it. We, we want you to have this. Because I didn't have any ColourPop in my collection. And they Veenboed me, or Cash After Veenbo, I forgot where they Veenbo or Cash After Money, but they did. And they bought this for me. I said, thank you so much. And I want to say thank you again because you guys are awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. And then we also have my foundation brush, which we really don't need today because we're not putting on foundation. So we can put that back. And these are the Mary Kay brushes in here, okay? These are the brushes that they sent me, uh, and those are the one that I want. I want this one. This is the eyebrow brush, because what I have here really isn't an eyebrow brush, and I want an eyebrow brush this morning. So this morning, I will f use for the first time ever the Mary Kay, the Mary Kay eyebrow brush with the um, Anastasia eyebrow pomade, because my Hello Kitty one really is not that good at eyebrows. It's not, st it's not stiff enough, so we're going to use something better this morning. <gasps> That being said, now it's time to put on our makeup. And you know what goes on first, right? It's the Too Faced Chocolate Bronzer. <laughs> Let's go, yay. Yay! Amanda gave me many things that I love, but last night my ring broke. And my heart broke. Oh, my ring broke. So I'm going to see if I can find a jeweler that will help me put it together today. Maybe I can find one. And now, eyes first. And oh, it smells so good. I smell like chocolate now. Really, I smell like chocolate. <laughs> Come and smell my face. I smell like chocolate. No, don't lick my face. Yeah, we don't do that around here. Go to the other channel and do that. <sighs> but now I do. I smell like chocolate right now. It's amazing. I smell like chocolate. <laughs> it's the chocolate bronzer. And again, Amanda told me that's what she, she always uses this. And she doesn't use foundation. A little concealer and the chocolate bronzer is all she uses. And she looks pretty good too. So anyways, that's that's all that. That's that's done. Now it's time to play with, and I do mean play with, um, the color pop. And what I do with this is I'm going to take the small brush over here. This one right here. I'm going to take the Able Sisters and put it right in the corner of my eye first. Because I want that to be really bright today. I'm going to take that 
and put on my brow underneath my brows and just take over my brows like this. Because I always like to lighten up. And my little sister is the one that taught me this. I always want to lighten up underneath your eyes. See, mom taught me this. I said, okay, lighten up underneath your eyes. But my little sister, she taught me that. Cindy Lou who one, two, three on TikTok or Cindy Lou who gets fit on Instagram. That's my little sister. And she taught me my first makeup. Mm -hmm. That's what she did. Now I'm going to put uh, Taylor's Ticket, which is a light purple. I'm going to put it next. Basically in the middle of my eye. Taylor's Ticket's gone here. In the middle of my eye. Now I'm going to operate this with my finger in a minute. I'm going to take it from the center of the eye out. And I'm going to put Serena Sable, which is the purple one on the end. The one that matches my dress. On the very corner of my eye. And now, I'm going to ombre the whole thing with my finger. And just go, whoa. And whoa. And back up just a little bit. And sort of blend it in. There we go. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I even like it more when I put on the unicorn snot. I'm just saying that I will. But that is Animal Crossing. Colored pop makeup that I used this morning. And I recommend it. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yay! Putting makeup on on TikTok with Sandy. I'm going to take this apart and put this part of it on one side, part of it on the other, and have an experiment this morning and see which one has more likes and more views. Yeah, I'm up early this morning because I love you. You and you and you and you and you and you and you. I love you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. This is Sandy, and I love doing makeup with you. I do. So now we have the first step done, which is we have our foundation, which is just chocolate bronzer, and we have the ColourPop makeup, which is mm -hmm, Animal Crossing, and I was told that they now have uh, Hello Kitty characters in Animal Crossing. I've never played Animal Crossing. I'm sorry. I just, I just haven't, but I heard it's really, really fun. So if you enjoy it, enjoy the blank out of it, dear. Do things that make your heart smile from ear to ear. And if the Animal Crossing makes your heart smile ear to ear, you just do it. And then come over and watch my videos. And, and then do exercise a little bit and do some yoga with me and hula hoop with me. And okay, whatever. Uh, come draw Hello Kitty shirt on my, Hello Kitty on my shirt over in Dayton today. What? That's what I'm doing next. Uh, <laughs> what do you think I'm doing here? I'm planting little seeds of Sandy everywhere. That's what I'm doing. Planting little seeds of Sandy. Okay, anyway. So now, next step is the eyes. So here we go. I'm gonna soak up the sun, turn my radio on so I can rock on. I've got no one to blame. I'm here right now, filling my heart with love, 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 love. La, la, la. Well, I did get my first vaccine yesterday, so I'm feeling a little more lively today. But my arm actually hurts just a little bit. And it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But it does hurt a little bit. My arm does. This arm over here. It's like, okay, well, it hurts a little bit. Do I need Tylenol? No, I don't need no Tylenol. Shh. Nah. Get silly. Okay, so now, for the first time ever, I'm going to use my Mary Kay brush. And I'm going to mm, comb my brows first. And brush my brows second. Okay, which I do that with my foundation all the time, but I didn't do a foundation, so I did it with this. Now, I'm, for the first time ever, I'm going to use the Mary Kay, the Mary Kay applique er, for my brows. And I just follow the natural bone line of my brow and brush in my brows. I'm just basically going over what's already there. I don't have very strong brows. I am blonde, but this is the blonde Anastasia blonde eyebrow pomade. And I just made my brows that look, look that good that fast. I love Anastasia eyebrow pomade. I recommend it highly. People say there's good, the stuff just as good and this and this and that. Well, you find me the match for blonde in that and send it to me, and I'll I'll put it to the test. I'll use it. Can't afford to go out and buy it right now. You give me the elf equivalent of this. Send it to my PMB. I will use it. And I'll do a comparison. I'll do one eye one, one eye the other, and we'll see if they look the same. We'll put it to the test. But you gotta get it to me first. So the eyebrows are done, and now it's time to uh, play with some mascara. So I'm missing a couple things that I've had. 
I only brought one mascara with me? Oh, bad girl. Okay, well, I can just have one mascara, so I can only use one. Here's my mascara this morning. Oh, no, we got the Chanel. Wake up, Sandy. All right, there you go. Again, this one I got for my birthday. This is Lashtopia, and it's from Bare Minerals. And I went there, and they have a birthday thing where they give you a gift on your birthday. So if it's your birthday, make, you do, make sure you do two things. One, ask me to sing happy birthday to you, because I love to do that. And two, go get your gifts. Ulta Beauty, Sephora, Bare Minerals, all have gifts waiting for you on your birthday that they would love to give you. They just would. They love giving you gifts. Mm -hmm. On your birthday, it doesn't cost you nothing. Just go and say, it's my birthday, and show them, your, show them your driver's license, and then bang, they hand you a gift. Usually, honestly, they don't even ask you, what you, ask you for your driver's license. But most of them, are you're already in their file. They have a file, and they, they know when your birthday is, because you all tell them. I tell them. Of course, I got two birthdays, so I, I, uh, October 26th is my rebirthday. In December, that's my birthday, so I got like two birthdays. So it's like, hey, I got two birthdays. Oh, okay. So far, I actually changed my birthday on their records to my rebirthday, <laughs> which I love, actually. All right, well, I'm just saying that I do. Okay, so now uh, we got our lashes. Okay, now it's time for, hmm, it's time for my favorite time of day. It's unicorn snot time. Oh, time to put on the magic. I got to believe, and I brought the purple, purple unicorn snot with me today because that is just perfect for what I'm doing today. Because this weekend is a purple weekend, and I am purple today. And I'm just going to lay out the unicorn snot on top of the ColourPop eyeshadow. And look how it pops. I'm gonna soak up the sun. Turn my radio on so I can rock. And yeah, my goal every day is to glow like a mermaid and sparkle like a unicorn. And now, because of chocolate bronzer from Too Faced, a gift from Amanda, and my purple unicorn snot, a gift from another one of my friends. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've gotten lots of unicorns now, but this is a gift from one of my friends. And yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Mandy T. Thank you, Mandy T, because you got this for me. You did? Just that. So now my eyes are done. Now it's time to glitterize. It's glitter time with Sandy. It's glitter time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take NYX glitter, just pure glitter, and put it right here on the nape of my cheek. And put some right there on the nape of my cheek, right there on the high part of my cheekbone. Because the principle is you always want people to see what you want them to see. Today for me, I'll put a little glitter on my brows too, because, well, it's, it's that kind of day. It's a glitter brow kind of day. Because Sandy said so, that's right. It's a glitter day. And now here's my Anastasia blush, which I've used a lot of, actually, because it's almost gone. And I'm going to scatter, scatter my glitter with my blush. I don't want this to stick out. I want it to hide. I want you to see it, but not that much. So I'm sculpting. I am I'm contouring my face with my blush, and that's what I normally do. I don't contour with a bronzer. I contour with blush. Well, don't forget underneath your eyes, because, you know, you really want it to pop. Watch what. So this is good, right? Watch this. Now my eyes pop. That little white underneath my eyes takes my whole eyes. Bright sun. It's like a little neon thing. Ding, 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 ding. Now you can see my eyes real well. Now my eyes pop. Now they're much brighter and lighter than they were a minute ago. And that's the big white crayon by NYX. Oh, it's what it is. It's the big white crayon by NYX. Good crayon, by the way. And now, it's time for my lips. And a question. Should we put on licorice or chai this morning? Licorice or chai? Which one should we use today? Your choice. Whoever says first is what I'm going to do. Licorice or chai? Both of these are from Amanda, the same person that gave me my Too Faced bronzer. They're small little lipsticks. Which one should we use? Tick-tock, 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 or Instagram, 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 or Snapchat, Snapchat, Snapchat. <laughs> licorice. Okay, we're going to put on the licorice this morning. Two of you say licorice at once. Tag Coke. Oh, no, no, I don't drink Coke anymore. <laughs> here we go. Here's Chad right here. Here's licorice. This is the color licorice right there. Very dark. It's 
very dark purple, honestly. This is licorice. You want to see golden licorice? Hey, would you like to see golden licorice? And this is this is the end, folks. Here's the golden licorice. That's the golden licorice. That's that's my my gold my rose gold here. I figured out a hundred ways to make my ribs well as grow as gold. Now, you don't see it because of the uh, mask we have to wear all the time. Underneath my mask, when I start my day, I'm always rose gold. And I love being rose gold. Because, see, it doesn't matter whether people can see it or not. It matters that you know it's there. The same reason I wear really nice clothes underneath my work clothes all the time, because I know it's there. It makes me feel beautiful, wonderful, and alive. So you, my ninja kittens out there, I thank you for giving me your love and your attention. And understand, I believe I've been shadow banned on my main site. I plummeted from 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 views on every video down to 300, which makes no sense when you got 84,000 followers or 83,000 followers. People aren't seeing me on their FYPs. They're just not. So good morning. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning, my friends. I love you. And I'm shouting it out over on Instagram, and I'm shouting it out on Snapchat. I'm whispering it over here. There's nothing I can literally do about it except for continue to create wonderful, beautiful, positive waves in the universe, which I always will do, and do it with you. I make things that are just so beautiful, people have to watch them. What is a mosh? I'm sorry. I don't understand what the word mosh is. Good morning, Caitlin Fox. Oh, a moderator. No, I'm not making anyone moderators this morning. Um, I might be out of that room right now for moderators. Um, but right now, you know, people can ask me to be moderators. But yeah, not right now, my friend. I'm not in the mood to make moderators. Normally speaking, if I feel I need a moderator, I'll pick you rather than you pick me. No, I, I know that you want to be a moderator, and you just hang around and get to know the other people that are here. Oh, you want to be a moderator, then you're going to say that? Okay, guess what? You just got... Uh, yeah, uh-huh. You got muted and blocked in the same in the same way. Okay, right. So yeah, mm -hmm. someone just made up. Yeah, they, they've also been blocked. They'll be back in about ten seconds over here with another account. Mm -hmm. We know these people. We do. Yeah. It's whack a troll time. It's whack a troll time. Is what it is. Yeah, they've been muted and they've been blocked. I'm a beautiful woman living my best life and spreading love while I do it. So you've been muted and you've been blocked. And that's what you need to have. This is Sandy, it's called Sandy's whack a troll Whack! You mute them, I block them. We rock them. Yeah, they're out there, the haters and the debaters. But that's not what I do. I do love. I do it every day. Uh, so now it's time to do a little yoga with Sandy. So we're going to take this over to the other side. And if someone else comes back and starts spewing that garbage and wants to spread hate this morning, you know what to do. You mute them, and then you send me their name on Instagram or over here, and we will block their rear end. Because we won't put up with that today. Part of self-care, Cindy, is taking care of yourself. When we take care of ourselves, there's, there's many levels to that. Okay. Taking care of ourselves means we're going to do yoga this morning, and we don't have any wings, so that's okay. We have love for each other right now. So, good morning, everyone. It's time to do yoga with Sandy. 
Why am I in a hotel? Well, I'm in a hotel because I want to spread love. I'm in a hotel because about three weeks ago, I got banned, right? So I stayed home and I went to every mall near me and got people to follow my new site. So I'd have a thousand followers so we could go live again. Because I knew in my heart of hearts, even if they let me back on TikTok right away, they wouldn't let me live on it right away. And I wanted to be live with you. So I spent a week and a half pushing really hard to get a thousand followers on this new site, which is not an easy task. Think about it. A thousand followers on a new site in a week and a half. That's a testimony to you and to me both. We fought hard and we did it. So the reason I'm here now is because I can. I've got four days, I got three days off in a row, intentionally, every weekend. So I can, if I'm able, to go out and spread Hello Kitty Ninja Critting Crazy Love a little farther in my life. I can go farther than I've gone before. I can go down to Cincinnati. I can spend three days in Michigan instead of two. I can go out and hit Erie and Buffalo and Niagara Falls in the same weekend. I can do these things because I got three days off in a row. Now, right now, I'm just going to Columbus and to Dayton today, and then I'm going home for Monday because I got plans to work with uh, Vicki to help straighten out my life a little more and declutter some in my home. Oh, monkey wants to know what my pronouns are. I will let everyone else answer because I'm tired of answering that this morning. Everyone else answer for me. Someone wants to know my pronouns. I expect my moderators and my friends here to say, hey, that's, that, that's, that's her pronouns. Because um, I'm out to spread love. Why am I in a hotel room? Because my friend, Mikey or Mickey, I'm not sure which, from, from Texas, who bought me my vacuum cleaner, said Sandy buy groceries and I asked them permission to take some of that money and, and get a hotel so I can spread love and they said yes so the reason I'm here today is because the person that bought me a vacuum cleaner out of the goodness of their heart and then bought me $200 said yes Sandy you can do that they said get groceries so I bought some um, cotton candy grapes for the first time in my life I've never had them before because I always live cheap I live as cheap as I possibly can no, that's normally what I do. But now I'm in this hotel because they gave me the money to do it, to spread love through the world. And yesterday, I was at Easton Mall where there was a bunch of cheerleaders. And I met, you know, I got the earrings from Kentucky, right? Owensboro, Kentucky from Brenda. And the cheerleaders I met, think about this, the cheerleaders that I met, the young, their young little cheerleaders, like eight or ten, right? And their moms that I met were from Kentucky. And they knew Owensboro. That's more than coincidence, folks. That's my higher power lining everything up the way it should be. I went to Fabletics and four people drew me Hello Kitties in that one store. What? This wasn't about going new places and seeing new people. This is about going and seeing my family that I miss, that I haven't seen in a while. That's what this is about. You know why I was over at Easton? Because I've had friends on TikTok from Build-A-Bear Workshop telling me every day, Sandy, come see us. <laughs> They're persistent. And I went, and they had a long line. I couldn't stand in line, but I waved at them, and I went, hi, yay, and they made them all smile. <laughs> Not everyone loves the hat. I know that, but they did. <laughs> they get Sandy. They know me. I wouldn't hurt a fly and I want to spread love. And, and they love that about me. And I love that about them too because they're my ninja kittens. It's what they are. So yeah, my, my pronouns are her and me and she. Because I, I, I was born on the hypnodyne side of the family. Had no contact with the LG, LGBT community until much later in my transformation. And then I learned about pronouns. And everyone had pronoun buttons, but they weren't my pronoun buttons because, well, they were the pronoun buttons. But I made up my own because <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. Still don't know what I'm doing, except for I'm filling my life with love and with you. So now, it's time to do yoga. Are you ready to do yoga with Sandy? Brooklyn, are you ready to do yoga? Robbie, are you ready to do yoga? Hey, PJ or JP, whatever, are you ready to do yoga? Let's do yoga with Sandy. All right, here we go. First step, we're going to do morning glory vinyasa. Breathe in. Fly to the right. Breathe in, fly to the left, breathe in, 
fly to the right, breathe in, fly to the left, breathe in, go down, get some water, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, fly to the right, breathe in, fly to the left, breathe in, and that is morning glory vinyasa. That's the little flower that follows the sun. It's the one minute of yoga you could do anywhere at any time to just center and ground yourself, to keep yourself flexible, left, right, up, down, which we all need. The person that gave me this said, I want you to have this so you can stay active and flexible your whole life. It's one quick, very one minute, just one minute you do this and you can keep yourself beautiful, wonderful and flexible. Now the next thing I'm going to do is called Sandy's Chakra Moon. It's the moon salutation, but it's my chakra moon because I discovered myself the chakras. They discovered me. They called me. I listened to them. And when I listened to them, I discovered that, you know, the sh I love the chakras and there's seven eternal truths of the chakras. And then I looked at the moon salutation and said, oh my God, the moon salutation is the chakras. Think about it as I do it because here we go. And by the way, we do laughing yoga. So with this, you laugh, you breathe in three times, hold your breath, and laugh with Sandy, because we can. Breathe in peace, and joy, and gentleness. Hold it. <laughs> laugh out loud. <laughs> breathe in divinity. Breathe in simplicity. Breathe in you and me. <laughs> Breathe in the moon, the stars, the sky. <laughs> Laugh out loud. This is temple pose in yoga. This is also the crown chakra up there. This is your connection to your divine power. And I don't define that for you. You define it yourself. Whatever it is, it's your higher power. You're connected to it today. I went through some 12-step programs, and I honor everyone's higher power, whatever it is. You decide that. I don't decide yours. I only decide mine. And I feel it's love flowing through me today. I do. Let's go into the crescent moon. Over here to the right. Now, this is crescent moon in yoga. This is also the third eye chakra. So breathe in the third eye. Breathe in midnight blue. Breathe in intuition too. <laughs> Laugh out love. Breathe in that still small voice. Breathe in I just know. Breathe in follow your heart. <laughs> and laugh out loud. Yes, this is the crescent moon. It's also the third eye chakra. I have a friend that told me one time, you know, the moon influences your intuition. And when she said it, I knew it was true. I just knew it was true because why? I have got intuition. <laughs> Breathe in the moon. Breathe in the full moon. Breathe in the new moon. <laughs> laugh out loud and do ha goddess pose now my feet are facing opposite walls and my arms are up in cactus position this is literally my favorite position in yoga this is goddess pose it's also the throat chakra the person that taught me this fern whenever she'd do this she'd go ha goddess pose ha she'd be saying i'm releasing my chi actually what she is is it, it's it's the throat chakra this is speak your highest truth with love and honor and the universe will echo you softly so speak uh, my highest truth. I'm a ninja kitten family member. I am dedicated to spread love. I am her, me, and she. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> Breathe in, good girl. Lovely lady. Wonderful woman. <laughs> Laugh out loud. <laughs> Breathe in, pretty princess. Hello Kitty Warrior, Ninja Kitten Family. Hold it. 
<laughs> love. And the color here is baby blue. And it is the throat chakra. It's also goddess pose. Now open up. Your feet are now on the ground. I was on my, I was on my toes. Now I'm on my heels. Arms are facing up. This is star pose in yoga. My feet are facing up as well. This is also the heart chakra. Look, everything leads right to my heart. This is I'm open to receive love from the universe. I'll let the essence of love fill me. I'll walk my path with ease and with grace and with you. So, so fill your heart with love. Fill your heart with more love. Fill your heart with more love. <laughs> love. I wear love every day. This necklace I have on is my mother's love. This bronzer I have on is love from Amanda. This this unicorn snot I've got on is love from um, Maddie or Maddie, T. Maddie. These earrings I've got on that's love from my friend Brenda in Owensboro, Kentucky. I wear love every day. So fill your heart with love. Fill your heart with more love. Fill your heart with more love. <laughs> love out of love. Ah, into triangle pose. Now with this, your right arm stays up. Your right arm goes down, left arm stays up. Now look at the little triangle. This is triangle pose in yoga. This is also the solar plexus chakra. This is the color yellow. This is my will and the divine will are one. I will take the abundance of this universe and manifest my dreams with ease. And what is my dream? To find ninja kittens and Hello Kitty warriors all over the world and wake them up to the love that roars. Breathe in dandelions and daffodils and daisies. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Into the runner's stretch. Now this, both arms are are on my ankle and both feet are facing forward and this is the sacral chakra this is I, ac I accept all aspects of myself and weave it into the creative tapestry of my life this is the color orange orange like a sunrise orange like a sunset sunset orange like those oranges I had last night so breathe in the mermaids breathe in the fairies breathe in the unicorns <laughs> laugh out loud into lunge pose now lunge, side lunge and squat those are all part of the earth chakra it's the color red, red like a beet, red like a radish red like that dress I got back at home <laughs> breathe in the earth breathe in the ground breathe in the lava <laughs> laugh out loud into side lunge breathe in a seed breathe in a sapling breathe in a wonderful tree <laughs> laugh out loud into squat pose because we are grounded centered, purified body, soul and spirit in the energy of mother earth so breathe in one ray of sunlight one drop of water we are the rainbow. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Into side lunge. Breathe in a river. Breathe in an ocean. Breathe in a thunderstorm. <laughs> Laugh out loud into lunge pose. Now, my vision here is Hello Kitty's holding up the world with all of her friends. Can you paint that for me? She's holding up the world. Who are her friends? You decide what that is. Breathe in peace and joy and gentleness. <laughs> into the run and stretch. Again, both feet are facing forward. Your hands are on your ankles right down here. And this is the sacral, this is the sacral chakra. This is I accept all aspects of myself. And the vision I have here is Hello Kitty with wings like a fairy, tail of a mermaid, and the horn of a unicorn. Can you paint that? Breathe in peace and unicorns and fairy wings, mermaid tails. <laughs> love, love, love. 
Now, we're going to go into triangle pose on this side. Now, understand that Sarah already painted this for me. It's on my wall at home. I've shown it to you. This is Hello Kitty, seen it on Dandelion. Blowing a dandelion puff, and those seeds are scattering down to the world and creating more dandelions. People tell me all the time, Sandy, we need more of you. We need more people like you. Why do you think I'm out here? I'm planting seeds of Sandy everywhere I go. I'm that little girl that's planting little seeds everywhere of love and light. It's what I do. It's why I do this. It's why I'm on all. It's why I'm on Snapchat and Instagram and YouTube and TikTok. It's to spread love. That's why I'm here. So breathe in peace and joy and light. <laughs> out loud. And Shelby drew this one for me. She painted it for me. It's the first Hell case she ever painted. It's good. She's in Hell case inside a beautiful green heart. Follow, surrounded by little hearts, and some of them are purple and other colors, and it's just love, dear. It's just love. So fill your heart with love. Fill your heart with more love. Fill your heart with more love. <laughs> Laugh out love. The color here is green, by the way. The heart chakra is green, and that's green like grass after a thunderstorm in Cleveland. That's green like the evergreen tree in Michigan in the middle of winter. That's green like my eyes. So breathe in the eyes of love, the wonder of love, the beauty of love. <laughs> love, I love. And do ha! Goddess pose on my tippy toes. Yeah, this is baby blue. And I had a vision here. Hello Kitty is wearing a big hat, a broad brim hat. She's got earrings, gold earrings. She's got little pearl earrings on. She has a necklace that looks like a butterfly and she's wearing a leopard dress. Why? Oh, I just don't know. Maybe because I like to wear leopard dresses. Because she's her and me and she. That's why, because that's me. That's me as Hello Kitty. So breathe in, me and she and Hello Kitty. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Into the crescent moon. Right over here. This Hello Kitty, the my vision, Hello Kitty's on a little magic carpet. And she's got a crystal ball in front of her. And she's going, om, om, om. Because you know, I've talked to people about the third eye. I don't know what the third eye is. I have no idea what a chakra is. You ask people, do you know, do you know, if you follow intuition, amazing things will happen? And everyone, and everyone says yes. So you got your eye open a little bit at least. So breathe in, I just know. Breathe in, follow your heart. Breathe in that still small voice. <laughs> laugh out loud. Now the amazing thing, the more you listen to intuition, the more powerful it becomes. You become good at listening to that still small voice. That's why I knew I was supposed to come to Columbus and Dayton this weekend. I listened very closely, stilled myself, and knew this was the place for me to be. In the temple pose. Because now my body is a temple, and I will give it good things. I'll give it yoga. I'll give it my vitamins. I'll give it makeup because that's what I love to do. This is love. This is self-care Sunday. So breathe in. Good girl. Breathe in, lovely lady. Breathe in, wonderful woman. <laughs> Laugh out love. Hands to heart, son. And this is Yoga with Sandy. We're going to take a little break here and just say hi. Good morning, everyone. This is Sandy, and I'm doing yoga this morning. This is what I do. And I just want to spread love to the world. Okay. And thank you for reminding me that I'm loved. And I love you right back. Good morning, everyone. I am loved. I know this. I sang it when I was young. Mm hmm. Good morning, good morning, good morning. But I am a lovest myself, and I love everyone that loves love, no matter what personal religious beliefs they have. And I will not force my beliefs on anyone. So this morning, I love you all, no matter what your belief system is. Uh, my higher power loves atheists. As long as they allow love to flow through their heart, they're loved. The real reality for me is, love is the reason why I live. I'm out to let love flow through my heart. My roots are in the Bible, my leaves are in the chakras, and I love everyone in between.
That's what I do do. That's why I think good thing Thursday is if there's anything holy, anything just, anything of good report, think on these things. Sufficient the day is the evil thereof. Take no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take care of itself. Which means focus on the good stuff, my friends, and create more of it. Mm -hmm. The chakra goes, the chakra says, my will and the divine will are one. I'll take the abundance of this universe and manifest my dreams with ease. That other book goes, all things work for good to those that love God and are called according to their purpose. It's the same difference, folks. Love is love everywhere in the world. It's the same difference. Understand that and love and accept everyone else and yourself. That's what we all need to do. My, my sister is afraid that I'm going to become Buddhist or Hindu because I, I, I love my chakras. And the answer is no, my sister. It, my, my love of the chakras it does not change me into anything I'm not, not, I'm not already. It just, I understand there's higher principles in this universe that apply to all. That's what I do. Good morning, everyone. It's Sandy, and I'm doing yoga this morning, and you're invited to join me. I am in Columbus, Ohio right now. I'm at a hotel room doing yoga. I'm about ready to do Sandy Silly Sound Sun Salutation with wings, or without wings, actually, which is pretty silly. Because I become a cat, a cow, a cobra, and a kitten. And you're invited to join me. And if you laugh, it's okay. If you don't laugh, it's okay. These are all things that I do today. And thank you for stopping by. If it's for a second, or a minute, or an hour, I just want to know that you are loved. Okay. Here we go. I start with a back bend. Good morning, sunshine. A new day has begun. I can tell that you are mine, and the war is won. When I woke up this morning, found myself at peace. Found myself enjoying being me. Oh, I'm glad I'm alive today. I got so many things I'd like to say. I'm happy and I'm joyous, the sun is coming up, and I am here alive to drink it up. Give me the rays no one else can see, let them fill my days through all eternity. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm me, I'm glad I saw, I can see. A new day is coming, I'm glad that I'm alive, glad that my soul is here and my smile has survived. It's a new day for us all. So many stars, they tend to fall. I know I'm happy and I'm the here, that's all. And I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm me. And now I'm on the ground. I'm going to breathe in and in and in and like a cobra. And I'm filling myself with the supple power of the snake right now. The spirit animal snake. Breathe in and in. And in and like a cobra. Breathe in and in and in and like a cobra. This is my spirit animal right now. And I'm feeling myself with that animal. And I'm moving my shoulders and my spine just a little bit. And it's keeping me supple, able to move. Now I'm going to go into cat pose and cow pose, which are real yoga poses. You can look them up. In a cat pose, I'm going to make a little noise behind my eyes. It's going to sound like a cat. When I come forward, there'll be a noise coming from my pelvis, from my sacral chakra, sounding like a cow. Let's do that. Now I just filled myself with the curious kitten and the strength of the five-stomached cow. And those are catalysts. Everyone that goes into those yoga positions are filled with those animals. But when I make the noises, it fills me a little faster. Now I'm going to go into downward facing dog and do something called walk the dog. And as I do it, I'm going to recite a poem I wrote called Fetch about what would a dog say if a dog could talk. It was published in my book Rainbows and Roller Coasters a long time ago. It goes like this. 
life is, woof, when I'm alone, I just bark at the mailman. But then my human comes over, run, run, run. And <laughs> my human likes to throw sticks. And then I bring him back. We go inside. I got my ears scratched. We have a howling good time. I'm gonna soak up the sun. Turn my radio on so I can rock on. And that is Sandy Silly Sound, Sun Salutation. That's my sun salutation right there. Now it's time to do Warrior 1, Warrior 2, and Warrior 3. So, uh, yeah, now it's time to do Warrior 1, Warrior 2, and Warrior 3. And when I went to the library, I got my beginning yoga tapes out to practice yoga. Everyone did Warrior 1, Warrior 2. No one did Warrior 3. Warrior 3 is the hard one. That's where you, I call it Supergirl. I call it standing one, one foot plank. Uh, I call it hard. But it's why I challenge myself to be the best person I can be. So start out with Warrior 1. Left foot, left knee is going above your foot. Right foot back at a 45 degree angle. Wings over your head. Arms up. Breathe in peace. And light. And joy. And laugh out loud. Ah! This is called laughing yoga, by the way. Because we laugh in our yoga. You breathe in three times, like blowing up a little balloon, and then you hold your breath and you let out your laughter. Just let it out. Breathe in apples. Breathe in pomegranates. Breathe in flatulence. <laughs> laugh out. Yes, I just farted and I know I did, okay? <laughs> everyone that really does yoga farts, by the way, because you're releasing your gases. I didn't know if I was a yoga master. You know, everyone in the room does yoga. If they do it right, they're going to be releasing their gas. I said, oh, whatever. <laughs> it makes me laugh. Anyways, breathe in laughing yoga. Breathe in vinyasa yoga. Breathe in flow yoga. <laughs> laugh out loud. Oh, breathe in the moon. Breathe in the sun. Breathe in the stars. <laughs> laugh out loud. Arms down. Open up into warrior two. Now your left foot basically right where it was before. It's just your knees right above your foot. Your right foot now is at 90 degree angle. You're reaching your arms out to me. You're opening up your chest. And you're breathing in butterflies, dragonflies, golden dragons. Hold it. <laughs> Let out love. Breathe in moonlight. Breathe in sunlight. Breathe in starshine. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Those are names for my hell case, by the way. All right. Breathe in the rainbow goddess of love. Breathe in love is love. Breathe in love is the answer. Hold it. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Into reverse warrior. Right wing down, left wing up. All right. Hands are awesome. do the other side. Wiggle out, wiggle out, wiggle out. Right. right foot forward, left foot back, 45 degree angle. Your knee is above your foot. Your left foot back is in a 45 degree angle. Your arms are over your head. You're breathing in peace. Breathe in joy. Breathe in gentleness. <laughs> and laugh out love. <laughs> Breathe in apples. Bananas. Cotton candy grapes, pomegranates. <laughs> Breathe in joy. Breathe in donuts. Breathe in hula hooping. <laughs> Open up and door you too. Breathe in joy. Breathe in peace. Breathe in light. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Breathe in the goddess. Breathe in the gods. Breathe in coexistence. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Breathe in Hello Kitty. 
Breathe in Monster High. Breathe in Barbie. <laughs> and laugh out loud into Reverse Warrior. Hand start center. Now it's time for Warrior Three. I'm going to try a little higher shelf here because yesterday this was a little hard to hover over that one, that small one. Let's see how we do over this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, thirty three, thirty four, thirty five, thirty six, thirty seven, thirty eight, thirty nine, forty, forty one, forty two, forty three, forty four, forty five, forty six. Ah! Didn't make it to fifty, but I tried. That wasn't easy. This is Warrior Three. I'm standing on one foot. My arms are hovering over the over the counter, not hanging onto it, and I'm balancing my other foot up as high as I can. What? That is what I'm doing here. Let's try it again. This is me trying to be the best woman I can be. Yep, this is me fighting for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, in Columbus at a hotel. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Econo Lodge in Columbus. That wasn't easy. That was hard. But see, that's, that's, that's the reason I do it. To challenge myself to be the best woman I can be every day. Yoga is how I find my balance and my grace and my center. It's what I do. It's why I do it. Now, I was doing this balance exercise, challenging myself, for over a year before I heard the chakras call out to me. And this is what I knew. I knew I was balancing my body, my soul, my spirit, and my chakras, but I had no idea what a chakra was. I asked my friends. They didn't know. I asked people in drive through at work. They didn't know either. I went to stores where I thought people should know, and they didn't know. Some people said, hey, that person over there, they balance them. And that person over there, they, they, they're a Reiki healer. But I don't know what it is. I can't tell. Well, it's energy of some sort, but I'm not sure what it is. I don't know what, what, what they're called. A couple of people knew one or two, but no one knew all seven. They just didn't. And so I went to a store and asked someone there, and they said, ah, there's a book over there on chakras. It's 50 bucks. It's 1,000 pages. Did you read it? No, I ain't going to buy that. No, sorry. Mm -hmm. That's not Sandy. So one day I walked into this place called Lion of Blue, and they had these flags up on the wall. Little flags, each of them with a color. There's a symbol and a saying. A little meditation for each one. I bought it brought it home. You'll see it in my home right now over my window. I meditated on those. I ate those. I drank those. I breathed those in. And I discovered the seven eternal truths of the chakras. And I realized, yes, I have been balancing my chakras this whole time. Watch Sandy as she balances her chakras. What day do you talk about, Sandy? Well, watch Sandy. That's what I'm talking about. I was doing this for over a year before I realized I was actually balancing my chakras. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, third eye chakra. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, throat chakra. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, heart chakra. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, 
25, solar plexus chakra, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, sacral chakra, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, root chakra. Now my goal is not to touch the floor or the wall the whole time, even in low plank. I'm just balancing over the, I'm hovering over the ground, not touching it. Sort of like when I do my warrior three. Let's do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, royal purple. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, midnight blue. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, baby blue. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, four, screen. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, dandelion yellow. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, sunrise orange. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, root red. Now I did touch the wall a little bit on that one. Sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm not. But you know what? We are grounded, centered, purified, body, soul, and spirit in the energy of Mother Earth. It's just what we are. We are grounded, centered, purified, body, soul, and spirit in the energy of Mother Earth. We are grounded, centered, purified, body, soul, and spirit in the energy of Mother Earth. That's what we are. So this is Sandy balancing her chakras. And the reason I laugh so hard, actually lightly laugh, but the reason I laugh when I'm doing, when I'm saying dandelion yellow, because I'm probably the only one in the universe that calls that chakra dandelion yellow. Ah. Because I'm dandelion girl, and I love dandelions. No one ever taught me that. No yoga master ever taught me that. I taught myself that. <laughs> so if you ever hear someone say the chakras and say dandelion yellow, they've been affected by me. <laughs> it happens. Now, um, the last piece of yoga I do is called wall work. Because the whole world is my yoga mat. And everything in it is my yoga block. Everything in this world is my yoga block, or can be a yoga block. So let's see if we can find a yoga block in here today that we can use. Let's see. Let's use, let's use the water bucket. That's the water bucket here. We're going to use the water bucket as my yoga block today. Because we can, and that's what we'll do. So this is called wall work. And a lot of times when I first did, I did this, it was, in the, it was in the kitchen with the wall behind me. But it's called wall work is what it's called. Okay, you're trying to keep your body aligned properly against the wall. But I don't need a wall necessarily. So here we have a triangle pose. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extended lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Triangle pose on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Extended lunge. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now half room with block to the count of twenty. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's do the other side now. Half moon with block. Using a little water container as my block. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. For the people out there that want to tighten up their rear end, that's how to do it. How do I know it? Because my body tells me so. My body tells me lots of things. Sandy, how do you know you're a lesbian? Well, because my body responds to women when they compliment me. 
my body responds. When men compliment me, my body doesn't respond. Women do, my body does. That tells me I'm a lesbian. Now, if your body responds to both, that means you're bi. If your body responds to only people that are opposite of you, that means you're straight, or whatever they want to call that thing nowadays. Sis, uh, you know, your body knows. Your body knows. It really does. You've got a smart body. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's Sandy. And I'm here in Columbus, and I'm going to Dayton this morning because I want to spread more love. Because my friends in Dayton said, Sandy, come see us. So I'm going to have to drop off this live and let them know in Snapchat, I'm on my way soon. <clears throat> and I'll be at Fairfield Commons Mall in Dayton today. Just saying hi to my friends. Just spreading love. Just being light. Just being a delight. And celebrating life with them. Maybe making a TikTok or two. Maybe making some videos. Maybe just hanging out and drawing Hello Kitties. I expect nothing less from the, from the land of Friendly. I love my I love my Dayton. I really do. <laughs> I expect nothing but good things. It's about expectations too. Because this is a day filled with love. This is a day filled with light. This is a day filled with joy. The higher power that's able to arrange me to get Lady Gaga Oreo cookies exactly when I'm done hula hooping on the first day that I hula hooped after there's been such bad weather for forever. That's okay. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Uh, yeah. Okay. So fill your day with love today. Love yourself today. Unashamedly. Give yourself the extra love that you need. Good morning, my friends, my ninja kittens. Please let your love roar today. Do you have a question you'd like to ask me this morning? I'm Sandy, queen of the ninja kittens. Is there anything you'd like to know this morning about me? I got time. I don't gotta leave right away. Is there anything you'd like to know this morning about Sandy? I'm all ears, kids. Do you like my makeup? It's ColourPop, Animal Crossing. You like the glitter on my eyebrows? It's NYX. Good morning. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Drew. Good morning, my friends. I love you. Thank you for stopping by today. If there's no questions, I'm going to be bowing out and sending this to Instagram so they can enjoy it too. Thank you for being with me this morning, for spreading light today, for spreading love today, for hanging out with Sandy. You are the awesomest. Thank you, my friends. I love you. Because, well, you know what I'm going to say. You know what I'm going to say. I bet you know. Because... We are family, all my ninja kittens and me. We are family, now and through eternity. We are family, filled with positivity, positively you, positively me, positively us. Good morning, my friends. Thank you for stopping by because I said, good morning. Good morning, my friend. It's time to get up, time to get up, time to get up for Sandy. I've got some chicken to eat this morning. I kept it in the microwave, in the refrigerator. I'm going to heat it up and eat it up before I go. So you know I've eaten something healthy. I'm going to take my vitamins and my spirulactone with some water in just a moment. I'm going to tell you that you just look natch, are beautiful. You're wonderful. And you are a drop of God love. Thank you for stopping by to say good morning to me on this wonderful day. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you. I, I fought hard for this. And I'm enjoying it with you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So 
here we go. One more time. Yay! All right, exit stage left. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your attention. I appreciate you. Bowing out so I can save this and send it to other people. Bye, everybody. I'll see you in a little bit. Toodles. Oh, my trip to the mall yesterday was glorious and wonderful and perfect. It was, it was filled with love and light. I met really wonderful people everywhere. Um, it was a celebration of love and family ties. Seeing people I hadn't seen for a long time that missed me and I miss them too. A lot of good things going on. A lot of good things going on. And bye. Talk to you later. I know you, 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 you went out there with me, but then you weren't there at the mall. I know, I know. It's good. Any more questions before I bug, bug, bug out here? Any more questions for Sandy? Any more questions for Sandy? Going once. Going twice. Going three times. And now we're all gone. Bye. See you, friends. Thank you because.